Let's go over one of the most common questions we get here, and that is, why in the world should I get my child's spine checked? So, we've got the neck, the mid-back, and the low back here. We know that over 90% of the kids are actually born with a problem in the vertebra in their upper neck. And that happens because the birth process can be very traumatic in a lot of cases. So if the spine shifts out of its normal alignment in the upper neck, one of the things that happens is the circulation is going to be affected. The heart isn't going to be able to send blood up to the brain at 100%. And that's because there's two arteries that run within each vertebra of the neck all the way up to the network of arteries in the brain. So when the circulation decreases like that, we can have problems like attention if a kid's going to school. We can have um, things that feel like, oh, I'm, I'm not quite there. Like my child seems a little foggy. He's not as sharp as he was before. That can all happen if the circulation is decreased because of a shift in the neck. Another common thing that can develop abnormally is the digestive system. And the digestive system has to have 100% nerve flow going from the brain down to say the stomach, the intestines, in order to digest the food, in order to have the right acid chemical balance to break down the food and um, if that doesn't happen, we can have things like constipation show up. We can have problems uh, with food sensitivities that show up in, this, in these kids. And that's not something we ever want. We want 100% flow going to each of those organs. Another thing that we might see is colicky babies. And that can be because the spine and uh, the, the body around the spine is just irritated and the, the babies are just telling us in the only way that we can, only way that they can, they can communicate to us that, hey mom, hey dad, I'm not feeling that great. Uh, and we can also see that a lot of times, if the spine shifts out of normal alignment, we're gonna have problems in the ears, okay? Specifically in the eustachian tubes. In adults, they're angled like this, but in kids, they're much more shallow, almost horizontal. And fluid can build up in this area and get trapped and not be able to drain properly. And we see time and time again, when we adjust the spine, okay, when we're able to correct problems with each vertebra, that this flow is restored and the ears are able to function like we should. So these are just a couple of examples of how we wanna keep kids from developing abnormally and have that vibrant life that they deserve.